Hi, now in this video, we are going to see how we can create array of structures. So in the last video, we have seen how to create structures in Solidity, right? And in that example, in the last video, we have seen that this way we created this student type struct, right? And in order to use this struct, we created one data type, right? We created this uh, data type of student like this by writing student and then public so that we can make this variable public and then S1, right? So by this, we were able to create this S1 variable, which was able to store the value of a student, right? So this S1 can hold value of this student. But the problem in this approach is that S1 can only hold the data value of a single student. We cannot store the data value of multiple students. Let's say I want to store data values of 100 students. Now this S1 is not capable enough, right? Because this is a single variable and the single variable is only pointing to this particular struct. So how I can store values of 100 different students or let's say more than 100 different students. Now in order to do that, we need to create array of struct. And how we can create array of struct? We have to simply write student, that is the data type. Then four, let's say I want to store the data values of four students in the square brackets, why? Because this is an array, right? And we have seen that, let's say if I want to create a UNT data type array, I have to write UNT, then the number of elements that I want to have, and then public, and then the variable name, right? If you remember. In the same way, I have created this student type array, okay, which will have four elements, and this four elements will be of student type, then public, and then S1. Now in memory, this will look something like this. So first of all, okay, let me remove this. So first of all, an array will be created, right? And since this is an array, it will have index number 0, 1, 2, and 3. And inside these arrays, what we can store? We can store the entire structure data. Isn't it amazing, right? So we can store the entire student data inside this array. So here I can write, let's say, KSH. I can write max, so the data value of max. Here I can write the data value of, let's say, uh, Raj or uh, like something like, like that only. Okay, actually, like something like that only. So by this, I'm able to store the data values of four students and not only four students. Let's say if I want to store the data value of 100 students, so I can simply do student, then 100, and then public, and then S1 or whatever name that you want. Let's say student only. So you can do such type of thing in Solity. Now let us see this with the help of an example on our Remix ID. So if you will see on your screen, we have this student struct. So first of all, we will create an array. Let's say I want to create an array of length four, okay? And then public and then S, okay? Only S, let's say for the for like I want the name as S for this particular array. And let's say I want to insert some element inside this array. So what I can do is I can write function, then I can, assign okay the name of the function let's say insert student okay and inside this i will have index number so that i can tell that at which index i want which particular value then the name of the student so the same thing again student name then the roll number and then our bull data type value so i will make this public and then i will simply have like this. Okay, since this is a string data type, we need to use memory keyword, right? Because this is a reference data type. And now inside this, in order to insert value inside this array, as we have seen also, that how we can insert values inside an array, we have to simply write array and then square brackets. Inside this, I will have my index value, okay? At of which index I want the value to be inserted, then definitely equal to, and then as we have seen last time as well, so we will write student, and inside this, I will pass the value as name, role, and then pass. Now by this, I will be able to insert elements inside this student type array. And let's say if I want to return the value of a particular student, so function return student, okay. Again, I will have to have my index value, and then I can simply write public, returns and definitely I have to write view here as well, right? View then returns. And since this will be returning the student type value only, right? So I will write student memory, right? 
by student memory because this structure if if you will see this array is actually pointing to this structure only right and we are actually returning an structure so if you are returning a structure we need to have student memory only right and then we will simply write return and then we will have our array like this okay i am missing one parenthesis so let me have that okay what is the issue here let me see okay it should be return okay now everything is correct so by this we can simply insert a value to this particular array and we can return a value from this array let us check this let me deploy this let me go inside and sorry not side actually scroll down and then we have insert student so let me have index value zero let's say my name and then roll number one then i'm pass again and then i will transact so now this transaction is successful in the same way let's say i hit index one i want some other value of let's say raj and roll number is two and he is failed let's say for example okay i will again do transact and let's say for second as well also we have some value let's say rena then roll number is three then false or let's say true let's make this true and transact so now we have three values inside this array okay and we can check that as well so i can simply go and i can insert my index value then call so you can clearly see it is returning the index value zero array values right so shitich one and true in the same way for index one we have raj two and false in the same way for two we have rena three and true and definitely since third is totally empty if i will call that you will see that it is showing us the empty values that is string is empty then zero and then false okay so by this you can create your own array of structures and you can insert values inside your own array of structures so now this will give you a flexibility to store as many students details or as many whatever details you want to store complex details that you want to store inside this structure and you can also make this array dynamic so that you know currently it is not a dynamic array right you can make this array a dynamic array so that you can have as much value as you want inside this particular array and how we can make this array dynamic simply we have to remove this index value right from this and instead of this what we will do is we will write s dot push right because for the dynamic array we use push and in this way we can insert value inside this dynamic array if you remember right if you do not remember this syntax this push syntax please go back to the dynamic array video i have explained you that right so in dynamic array we can insert value by this and we do not require an index value because push will automatically push the value at index zero then one and then two and then three so like this you can also do the same and let me show you this as well quickly so let me deploy this again we have this uh let me insert some value let's say code eater once more then one then true and let me do transactions so now it is successful and we can check that as well zero and here you can see that code eater one and true by this you can actually insert as many values inside this array because now it is a dynamic array okay so i hope you enjoyed this video meet you soon in the next week if you have liked this video please click on that like button if you are new to this channel please subscribe to this channel because i am regularly going to upload new blockchain courses on this channel to so meet you soon in the next video till then take care bye bye and do not forget if you have any doubts please comment below okay